What's going on, analysts? We received a question from an analyst asking how they can display address entities using the i2 analyst notebooks as we map feature. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the simple steps to visualize geographic locations when importing georeferenced address data. It will require you to have enabled the Esri map feature in your installation. Let's go ahead and get started. In this demonstration, we're going to import address data as entities from an Excel spreadsheet. If we look at the Excel data, we see it contains address details, city, state, longitude, and latitude. The key here are these longitude and latitude coordinates. Let's go ahead and import this Excel spreadsheet as address entities. Go to the Home ribbon, click Import, and then click Import from File. After specifying your Excel file, we're going to select Create a new specification. Let's go through the Import Wizard. Click Next. I'm going to specify that we want to extract column headers from Row 1, and then click Next. We're not modifying any of the data, so click Next to select the layout design. We're going to select Entities only because we don't have any links in this data. Click Next. Under Type, we're going to select the house representation for the entity. We're going to use the full address field as the identity, so let's go ahead and drag it into the Identity section. And we're going to select the short address field as a label instead of displaying the entire address with a city and postal code. So let's go ahead and drag the address column into the label section. This next part is the key to ensuring the locations display properly on the map. We're going to need the longitude and latitude coordinates as entity attributes. Click on the attributes tab and create the attributes. Click New. Under the class, you're going to start typing the word Longitude, and then select Longitude. Click New again, start typing the word Latitude, and select Latitude. Now we're going to drag the Longitude column from our data source into the Longitude value, and the Latitude column into the latitude value. Since we've got our longitude and latitude values configured, we're going to click Next. I would suggest completing this section with the information that's relevant and save the import specification. But for the purpose of this demo, we're just going to go ahead and import our data. Click Add to Chart, and then click Close. Let's rearrange these entities so I can actually see them zoomed in on one screen. Notice that one of the icons doesn't have a longitude and latitude value. That's because we didn't have that information available in our original data set. Let's go ahead and select these addresses and place them on the map. Go to the Analyze ribbon, and under the Map Provider tool, Click the drop down and select as remaps. And then click add selected entities. You can select from the variety of satellite imagery or map topography available from the Esri map public portal to use as the background for your map layout. You can manually place the ungeocoded address on the map layout if you know the location on the map. Let's go ahead and zoom to the area to locate the intersection. Here we find the intersection of Lock Street and Montgomery right at this location. Simply drag the address entity on the map and you'll notice that it's now filled in the longitude and latitude in my address entity attributes. That's how you can display address entities in i2 analyst notebooks as remap feature. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for checking out this episode of the All About Analysis channel. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like, hit subscribe, 
and click that bell so you don't miss any of our new episodes. See you next time.